Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna play some more The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Without further ado, let's hop right in. Last time we got to talk to uh, Knuckles and Espio and figure out their al alibis. Espio was a little bit suspicious and Rouge has been going around places. So let's hop right in. Rouge, there you are. I have a lot to say to you. We visited every train so car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a war welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I see you brought the microwave master with you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, please don't let that begin my legacy. I, I know I'm technically laughing at, like, myself because this is my own character, but, you know, whatever. Tails is right. Folks have brought up you a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right, I've been hunted for a treasure rumored to be stored on the train. Treasure? It certainly didn't tell me a about a treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part printavir of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé, it's a Faber, Fabergé chow egg. I think that's how you say it. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite. Only to that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg, I, I hope, hopefully I'm saying it right, is here, in the train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? It's kind of weird because like the conductor left the car why would they leave something like super valuable like i know like there's a decent amount of stuff that is pretty valuable here and what did you manage to find rooch and plus there's the hands that take care of it anyways oh well why don't you both take a look i found the train's blueprint in the library car with the save code written right on it the score of a lifetime oh that's what the numbers are the train's blueprint Please, Rouge, tell us that. Uh, 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 finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistant. That, that look on Blaze's face, I don't know, it just doesn't fit her. It's so goofy. It just looks really goofy. I really wish I could play Rush games on this channel, but, like, I can't because DS, like I said, DS doesn't have, uh, any recording features on it. And also because, um, I just don't own the games. Maybe if there's a way to port them on to, uh, my thing called, um, PC, maybe I might play them. You know? Never, uh, you never know. And there's also a 3D Rush fan game being made, so I might play that too. If it comes out, it's only a demo so far. But, uh, we're getting off track. What kind of problem? <laughs> I got so off track there. The elevators behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. I cannot speak right now. But we're not getting there any time without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg, Blaze? You don't have a problem with this? I see no issue here. Sounds like fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decision here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Sonic Reaver 69, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Sonic Reaver 69 are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Plus, isn't this a good way to get their alibis too, if we need that? Heh <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh my god, they bring a- Where do you bring the whiteboard? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? I love the art here. The, the art on the board. To access the Fabergé chow egg room is behind the locked elevator door. The security guard has an access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard? I'd say distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Sonic Proof 69, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> Bro, this... I imagine the smile on our face, like on the character's face, must be so freaking creepy right now. It's gotta be so creepy. So goddamn creepy. It's... <laughs> it has to be. Like, it's... It's... It's not even... It's... It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in casino, my poker face needs to work. 
Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I have no clue who would do that. Uh... Blaze. You think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. But why does my character need to, like, go great, great? They don't even need to say anything, bro. Like, what the heck, man? They don't need to say anything. What's the distraction? I like the question mark. <laughs> Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. <laughs> ah, the claw machine sucks. Who put a claw machine in the casino? This works great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Pick their pocket, of course. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Sonic Reviewer 69, what's your plan? Uh see, that just get us into a deeper rabbit hole, if I'm being honest. This one, we just get in trouble. I'm gonna click this one. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such thing in my kingdom. The guard would go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head on to the elevator. Just like that. We uh, all make it in the elevator. Inside, we uh, celebrate. Pop some apple cider. <gasps> Whoa! That's inappropriate for a kid's game. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, celebratory dance. Well, now, that's a proper victory. <laughs> no, no. The last security guard measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking us from the ceiling? Have tails to disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Why am I the one getting squeezed in that picture? Like, why am I the only one? Tails managed to do it. Darling, I'm so happy to say this plan is perfect. That it's not perfect. It has so many holes in it. Everyone is ready. It's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. And they're just going to skip to us after we finish doing the plan. So we're in the thing now. To have this plan go off perfectly is like, you gotta have some luck. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough. I must admit, and the execution was perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Flabbergy Chow Egg. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could click on this. What could possibly be storing in all of these? This is a casino car, so it's all the expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Flabbergy Chow Egg inside. So rings aren't money. I, I, I'm just so confused by this. No question, this has got to be a safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out Rouge. On it, sweetheart, let's see. 230401. Oh wow, it's here, haha, -ha. I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, you can't be so hasty. You truly think that that's all there is in this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rue, spit it out, what are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, and each hiding in their own indivi individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can't open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, uh-oh. Rouge, no one has lived to tell the egg secret, because the egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of the egg now. Dispose of it? After all of our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine. What do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm probably not gonna go through all of these. But I'll go through a couple. Take one for the team. I gotta do that one. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door is staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial. 
Obviously I am, there must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials, how are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. And I will do, uh, take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as, a, uh, I am, a hero. No, Sonic Reboot 69, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who we are to stop. The microwave kids obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain that sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else quickly. Are you insane? Do you want us just to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Sonic Reboot 69. That is our goal. Listen, listen. I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Sonic Reboot 69, I think you're onto something. Huh, what's right? Spill it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. I'm sorry, but SPO said something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the event, they can perform a various ta of tasks. They're responsible for cleaning up the trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, assuring passenger safety. The robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as a Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have de detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and surely he won't allow such a thing either. If we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. You! My, my, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch is right, thankfully. Eek! Look what's inside! Wow! Look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy too. The final secret to the Flabbergy Chow Egg. It's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect, it's squeeze, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one's lived to tell the tale Flabbergy Chow Egg secret. I wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb, because they weren't as tough as us. You know, who cares? What precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they were natural, old, died of old age, and just kept the secret with them. Oh, as much as fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back to their post. Hopefully, they subdued the drink coaster's fiend, okay? Thank you, Bo, for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge... Rouge is completely absorbed in the bed-dazzling chow. Uh, what? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It, as I said, finders keepers. I need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I sh I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. I just can't add sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make it things better. But I don't think there's any reason reasoning with her she's more powerful than me well we'll get out of your hair for now then we have a murder mystery to attend to before you go shadow and rouge gave me one of these he passed through earlier let me unlock the door so you can continue forward you know we've had a lot of people mention you rouge but we also had just as much suspicion about shadow he's unpredictable that one good luck to you the doors unlocked both of you stay safe thanks again Will do. Come on, Sonic Crew 69. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. You actually get to explore. I don't think there's anything really too important. I actually haven't clicked. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down and played for fun. Ready for some? Ready for some? Hold on. I don't. I don't know how to play that. Let me easy. Sonic Crew 69. We simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Mm, lounge car. They got a Chaos Emerald at the top right over here. That's really cool. Like, that's like a dangling from the ceiling. I don't know what, I don't think to call it a ceiling light. Now as good as a time any 
as any to clean out my pocket. I know you won't talk. I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd always, I'd also like to ask why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm, I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Sonic Review 69, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk, so let's do some investigating. Alright, let's find some answers, Tails. Indubitably, my dear Sonic Review 69. In the last car, we didn't even have to do any uh, interrogating. <laughs> oh, Tails, have you checked this out? These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. And yeah, we can also do this to, uh, right here. Sonic Fury 69, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there any reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, something leaps out? I just think you should do it. Fine, we'll do it for Tails. Alright, watch a pro. Eh, cough, cough, cough. Eh. All this dust, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> hmm, Tails, do you see this? A uh, pull string? Sonic Review 69. What? It's got to activate something. What the... The back of the wardrobe open. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quiet back through the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. Hey, it's the big chow band. Give us a jam. Oh, that, that was really fast. That was spiritual. That was like, that wasn't even that long. That's not a song. What are you talking about? Songs are like three minutes long, usually. Two. It depends. I feel reawakened. I don't. Hint. <laughs> There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have the power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Uh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you bring me a chaos call? I don't. Nope, not listening to me. Sigh. I'm quite parched too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Ah, uh, no, no, I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Sonic Review 69, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to be sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Sonic Review 69? There's always something in the trash bin. Sigh. All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha ha ha! Something printing out on the front page of the Picket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Hmm. The key ring. This must be Shadow's locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. We found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow to find out what really happened. Just so, let's search this. They told us about this in our interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A, sh a shame to be on a computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like you're using the computer here. You must really need to use it. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Let's do Sonic rowing a boat. Huh? The printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah. The user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Ah, and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. <laughs> uh, quiet, 
Will you set this back on the printer? Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I'll ask you to leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, cat. actually. Sucky for 69, we will certainly not. Shadow, we have some questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. We've been, lo you've been locking every door on this train and, and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for my scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here is the lounge car. Is the only car that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. You think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the others so the locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source backs me up on these clams, and they will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and he couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation is the logic sound though why was shadow trapping sonic i'll play along and follow this train of logic amy if shadow did lock all the doors to the conductor's car imprisoning sonic then how was sonic found in the dining car exactly i think sonic review 69 can explain the car change however sonic review 69 what evidence that do we have that shows sonic could have gotten into the dining car Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Let's do some more, uh, runner. We haven't done so, some so far. I think it gets up to five rows after this. I think I said that before, though, also. On this one's just Chaos Blast. Because Shadow, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's Chaos Blast. Because Shadow uses Chaos Blast. Ah. Got hit. Still one, though. Too easy. So I can rear 69 and, and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? Someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the diamond car. Excellent work, Sonic Review 69. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, but then he thought crime team being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of the murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I don't uh, have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ah, seems Tails and I were more th thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll hu humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passageway and appeared in the library car, then how did Espion Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak up around two people. Sucker Rear 69, do you have any guesses? Well, oh, well, SPO and Vector didn't see Shadow because I believe SPO was on a bookshelf at a table reading. SPO's reading in the library, checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatsoever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are you searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith give away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. And that's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Brap, Sonic Rear 69 and I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do what? Sonic Rear 69, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The key ring, obviously. That feels good now to get my thoughts in order. These are boring, so I'm probably not gonna show off all of them because most of them are the same. 
I am gonna show off the ones that get closer to the end though because they're a little more interesting because the runner game gets a little more interesting let me just say that without spoiling anything else because I really do not want to spoil this if you haven't seen this game you probably have though it was pretty much all over the internet there's one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring those two keys shadow meant to give to SPO and vector no way well what of his own keys could one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow was telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Sonic View 69 know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday qu present? Oh, mostly everyone. Yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them um, being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Sonic View 69? Ah, uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know that Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and we gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you and me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Shadow was locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Sonic Rear 69. I'm ma making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare you, Sonic Rear 69. Show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? The last evidence we have, the crumpled paper, of course. That feels right. Phew, just organized my thoughts again. Let's do it again. You went rooting through the trash. Huh, what's that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a band ticket website. Tails, don't. Gasp. Ah, oh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey's? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jerry B is Psy, my f current favorite. All members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at, at Pacific time and they sell out in a minute. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the trash car Shadow was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's bland ticket website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. What, Shadow, is this true? Were you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get your concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow? I used the printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Uh, sorry. That's a detective job, is, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> when we arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had gotten a gift except for me. I worried for my social status. I immediately began brainstorming on ideas and saw the computer. I remember that Amy had never seen Hot Honey live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed out the homepage. The concert ticket weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you, you speak of? 
the time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets. Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. But I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began looking all the doors. I, I think I said looking. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, I, your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy tickets later and I'll make it up to you. You can come with me. Uh, uh, I, uh, I don't know if. Too late. It's happening. Eee! I can't wait. A show of a lifetime. Sigh. Fine. Did I just verbally say sigh? Happy birthday, Amy. Accept a loss of pictures from... I accept lots of pictures from your concert. You too? Hmm. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I can blame my source for all this. It wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source for your, uh, big scoops? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate the last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you, I'd love to see who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well! Time to see this through to the end! We're more than happy to have you both. Sucker for 69, I hate to say it, but I believe it, our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together, the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We pinned down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never, conductor's car. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him through the train at all. Last time we saw him, he was left to the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Well, that's where we're gonna end this episode. We're getting really close to the end, and we're gonna get pinned down that murderer and slap him in the face because he just murdered Sonic. And like, Sonic is the name of everyone, so not not everyone like the name of the game character like you know what i'm saying the title uh, the name next episode will be the mer the ending so if you guys want to see that make sure to like and subscribe and turn those notifications on so you never miss a new upload and i'll see you guys in the next episode